It was just kind of the culture. In his 23 years working in car dealerships, Sean Weekly has never experienced racism at the level he did in his two years at Covert Auto. While there, he says racist comments were frequent. Those things are heard on a regular basis. And white managers would send only minority employees to talk with minority customers. You work better with your, your, your people. Weekly says the racial discrimination went beyond racism and derogatory comments when he tried applying for an open manager position here at Covert's Huddle location. He was instead transferred to their Austin location. Weekly said he was told there could only be one black manager at each location, and there was one already in Huddle. He was kind of hesitant. Uh, because of the fact that you would have two black managers at that point. You know, it's getting a little overloaded with the, uh, you know, ethnic people here. The, you know, it's getting kind of dark around here type of statement. Now, Weekly is one of two black former managers at Covert suing the company for racial discrimination. Once Weekly was transferred, things did not get better. I was not involved in all the meetings. I was just kind of standing there as a as a prop, basically. The federal lawsuit says that unlike white managers, Weekly says his commissions were withheld, despite his division increasing sales by 700%. My internet manager, uh, who was below me, was actually making uh, about as twice as much as I was. It wasn't just minority managers' money that was affected. Weekly also said it was common practice to try and overcharge minority customers. The customers that were minority customers, they would go in and try to sell them more stuff or put stuff on their contracts that they necessarily didn't ask for. Complaints to managers were ignored. Eventually, both former managers who are now suing were forced to quit due to the work environment and the threat of a demotion, but they're hoping this lawsuit stops these practices. Our goal is really just to make a change within car dealerships and at Covert Auto Group. There's been this ongoing discriminatory practice. Shine a light to it um, and make have some opportunity for the next person that comes along. We reached out directly to Covert Auto as well as their legal team. Their lawyer told us they had no comment at this time. In Austin, Christian Flores, CBS Austin News.